this guy. He's the guy that beat Elvis in Lillehammer. Alexei Ermanov. Noted for several things, of course, included. He's a heck of a skater. And he has perhaps the most bizarre collection of outrageous <laughs> outfits in skating today. This one looks like a bad sci-fi movie reject. <laughs> well, he's always been well known for his flamboyant costume. And it, it really stands out now because actually the guys have started to dress down a little bit ever, ever since Scott Hamilton came out he's dressing with, down. with the Ban the Beast campaign. <laughs> Here comes the... problem this week with his skate as so many pro skaters are having problems with their equipment he got off the ice after practice and his the heel of his skate was detaching from the boot he had to run around his coach was running around trying to get it fixed he got it fixed but it's not in great shape there's a second triple the Lutz Okay, now this will be really interesting because Scott Davis and Ermanov have just done exactly the same technical elements, the triple axle combination and the triple Lutz, and the judges will have to decide who they like better in terms of artistic impression, and both of them are so different. Do they like the classical style of Ermanov or the techno hip-hop style of Davis? A standing ovation for the Olympic champion, Alexei Ermanov of Russia. He's not just a great skater, but you really have to admire his strength because he does march to a different drummer. He knows that North Americans think his costumes are silly. He knows that classical <laughs> ballet no, he type... he doesn't. He does so know. He, he also his knows costumes. that the classical style is out of favor now and, and, and less so in favor in this part of the world, but he does it anyway. He chooses but to But you know what? I just want to see him smile. He just doesn't look happy. He just gave a great performance. He's so serious. Here's that axle. It was a beauty. Look at that tight air position. Who do you pick? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not qualified to pick. They both look great to me. <laughs> He's going to challenge for the lead, no question. Will he be number one? We're going to find out shortly. Required elements very high. Five sevens and five eights. And he's got ones across the board. His Ordinals, he's been ranked number one by every judge here tonight. So he takes over first place from Mr. Davis. And boy, another big grin, huh? <laughs> <laughs>